use, you're going to use just a little bit. Let me squeeze it out. But before I squeeze it, you can see the little um, glue gel is coming out. But I will do a little cover exam first. And I feel scratchy right here. I can feel that. And also when you do that, your clients also feel it too. This is really cool, awesome, um, double secure all the crystal and charms so then when the clients wearing this they feel so good and secure it's never gonna catching on the stuff on their hair or their clothes for instance if they have expensive like scarf or even a cute scarf that they're wearing you don't want them or sweaters you don't want them to catch it on and pull everything out of it so i'm gonna feel it in Before I cure it, I am going to using my tinted brush. And this is on the other end. This is my detail brush. I'm gonna give it a really quick swipe. This one, this cool tips and tricks will blend all the extra pre-season glue that you don't want because you don't want them to look lumpy and bumpy after you cure. And it's tag free so you can just like So now we're gonna cure this for six seconds. Move on to the next one. Same thing. You're gonna feel it first and with charms. I feel that, you know, it's had a lot of cracks and other edges. I really want to make sure I double secure just check it first and when you in the meantime you're checking it you feel like right here scratchy right here and you're gonna squeeze just a little bit and you don't want to do too much to like flood it your crystals you want to seal it but not flood it like all over on the top of your crystals right here on the edges. Mm. Hey Sarah, she said I didn't see you on IG Live. Live. I sent it to you, Sarah. I'm so glad you're tuning in. I don't know why you didn't see I sent it to you. And I think maybe Lady sent it too. So weird though. Would you have two accounts, Sarah? That's wonder. Me too. Okay, so then sometimes I miss it, you know? So I using my tinted brush uh, on the other end. Why oh, yeah, I did tap that for uh, the hair right there. And cure this one for 60 seconds. All right, so this one, all right, so we have a lot of questions regarding to this one because we're using a matte top coat. So here is a tip and trick. You still have to like go into all that cracks and gaps right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I feel it. I'm gonna just like end it in. And don't afraid of to feel it and seal that because and it's gonna give you a shiny but it's okay and we're gonna go back and we're gonna touch up with the no white top uh with the matte top to make it looks back to matching give it a swipe all right and last one this one I'm at too. I'm gonna feel it too. I feel scratchy right here. 
right here. So when you do a mat, do not afraid of to fill this one in. And I'm gonna show you a tip and trick to put it back in the mat, back in, so then you don't feel like you have matte finish, but a bunch of like a no white, which is a pre-season glue residue in there. It doesn't look attractive at all. Just make sure that you're doing it first. Seals all of this cracks and gaps between crystals. And blend this one out. Give it a swipe. And cure this one for 60 seconds. Let me get my uh, stone debt. Oh, no, I'm good. Hi, Libras, how are you? All right, so for this, make sure you close this red cap. Do not do this red cap away. Um, close it to prevent from spilling or clocking my um, needles. And if you want to use a brush, a pre-seasoned brush on the side, the other end, you can just use this. And for instance, if you want to add some of the crystal, like sometimes I forget one or two crystals, smaller ones, I can use this brush also in the needles as well at your convenience. I can add it here and place one or two crystal or the beads in there. So this is really handy and it's a little go a long way. And now I'm going to using a matte top coat. Just give it a drop. The reason it is you want to go back and touch it up with this because um, I don't know, it's different of salon, but our salon, when the matte top coat finish, it will be additional chalks for that, like five to $10. It really depends on you have the matte top coat on what service. So I'm gonna using my twin tip brush and you can't really seeing it, like not much, but I can seeing it the matte and the shiny it looks like a little bit shiny here so i'm go ahead and using my twin tip brush with the matte top coat and kind of blend it in you don't want to give it a whole big lumps in there you want to give it a swipe and blend it in so it will actually it covers all of um like pre-seasons uh, glue gel residues right there because it's shiny so I think I got it good but after you gear you feel some spot is still like shiny using like your ginger brush and give it another swipe all right here for 60 seconds 